Hey, what is going on guys? So on the last episode of the Iron Man series, I mentioned a lot about Corporal Beast and uh, basically I was just prepping for it and I was searching for that Tyrannical Ring which I did manage to get quite early so that was nice. So basically, I have all the equipment that I really need. But Corporal Beast is coming out later this week but at the moment I'm trying to bang out some more raids and armadillo drops because I, you know, I really want to get some of those out of the way first before I try to dig deep into like the Corporal Beast grind. This has got to be my most productive hunter day of all time. I gained 3 hunter levels so I started from 83 and now I'm 8600 so yeah that is a lot of chain catching but I did get myself over 2000 chins and this is great I have enough chins for probably 6 to 7 armadillo trips so that's gonna last me a long while. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I'm so glad Wef got it. What? Oh my god. I, I got troll too. Damn, Torn Prayer Scroll and Dark Relic. Wow, nice hit, Wef. There we go. That's uh, 250 uh, raise KC on this character now. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty uh, crazy number. That's a lot of hours put into raids so far, huh? We'll keep continuing and see. Ooh, God's Sword Shard 3. I seem to be getting those a lot, huh? And also a Hard Clue Scroll too from the same wave. Okay, man. Not bad. So I just did a 11 kill Armadillo trip, right? And I used basically 300 red chins. So I guess for future reference, I only really need to bring like 400 red chins. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. The triple, oh my god, dude! I got all three of the birds stuck. Rune sword again? No, please, why? That's my second rune sword. My god. Armadillo home. Oh my god! Wow. Oh, dude, another god sword shard. Jesus, man, all the shards, man, they're all mine. Well, this is a nice surprise. Just got 91 herb lore, and I'm just making some super restores right now because uh, I'm starting to run low, so yeah, stocking back up, but really nice. Kind of close to 2100 total. I think we're definitely going to hit that at some point. I'll be waiting. Yo, I can't believe this, man. So on the last episode, I did die at Armadale, right? And because I died, the Dragon Fire Shield dropped to the ground. But I forgot that if the Dragon Fire Shield gets dropped to the ground, it loses all its charges. And if it loses its charges, the defense of the Dragon Fire Shield is like utterly poop. So I did three whole Armadale trips today. 10 kill plus each with my Dragon Fire Shield on me. With like two thirds of my normal defense. So I didn't even notice that. But... Yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, make sure you charge your Dragon Fire Shield. Don't be like me. Hey, here we go. I just hit 98 cooking. Wait a minute. I thought I was going to get 97 cooking. Damn, I haven't been really paying uh, too much attention, I guess. So that means 1.2 million to my second ever non-combat 99, which is cooking, which is cool. Let me show you guys what I have left to cook. I got 1.7k raw sharks and 5k anglerfish to cook. That will get me the 99 cooking and ensure that I have plenty of food for Corporal Beast. Now, I thought I was like completely ready for Corp, but I guess not because actually Quan Bonds would be a really, really good uh, food to have alongside my sharks and whatnot. Because Corporal Beast hits really hard, it can be pretty easy to die, so combo food will ensure you know that I don't die accidentally. I found a little neat trick to make cooking food at Rogue's Den a little bit easier. So you know how when you withdraw your food to cook, you either drag your mouse all the way up to the X in the bank to close it, or you press escape with your left hand to close it like this. Actually, you don't have to do any of that. So basically, if you are zoomed in the game like me where you just see your character right there and the fire, you can actually just withdraw your food and then just click your character and just do this. Ah, oh, damn, dude. Whoa, 4107. Hmm. Is that a PR? No drop in a bit, <laughs> but I'll take the PR, man. Oh my god, what? No fucking way, dude. Wow. 
Yesterday I got uh, God Sword Shard 3 too. And the day before that I got God Sword Shard 3 too. Damn dude, that's like three days of God Sword Shard 3s. What? <laughs> what the hell man? 2 for 1. So I did 13 kills that trip. And I could have done way more. I have so much food. So I think next time I'm gonna bring uh, an extra prayer pot. So then we can go for like maybe 15 kill trips. That'd be nice. But red chins and not on task. OP. Fresh heart clue reward from uh, Almor Deal. Oh, damn. Ancient plate legs. So to start off the Quanbuan grind, I need to complete the Karamja heart diaries. And to do that, I need to find myself a gal tuber from one of these uh, jungles. So the best way to do it, as far as I know, is cutting the light jungles. They all have the same chance and the light one's the fastest to cut. I think it's a 1 in 100 chance. Yes! We got it! Fuck yes guys, we got the gal tuber. I've been doing this shit for I don't even know man. I'd say at least 2 hours or something like that man. Well, we're definitely getting the hard Karamja Diaries completed today. Alright, it's finally time to get myself a nice machete. So I'm gonna get the best one because I'm a baller. Here we go, and it should say medium task completed. Alright, that is nice. And the last few tasks for the Karamja Diaries all the way hard is just a cakewalk. Alright, Jackie, apparently she is the universal... Uh, item reward guy for the Karamja Diaries now, so that's good. Don't have to go to so many different NPCs, which is nice. Okay, and I also done the hard, give me the upgrade. Beautiful. And anyways, the big deal with this Karamja Gloves 3 is this baby. Let me activate this glove. Watch me teleport to the mines. Oh, beautiful. Gem rocks for days, guys. So, yes, this will be how I go ahead and uh, get a lot of trading sticks because I can just mine shit tons of these gems the bank is right here and then I just sell it to Taiba Wani village for a lot of trading sticks and with the trading sticks there is an NPC right here that banks anything you deposit just 10 sticks per item so I will be buying my Quan Bonds at this guy right here super fast and then just bank here so yeah getting the Quan Bonds will be super super easy so I haven't done vanguards in a long time because uh, they used to just take way too long but they actually updated the boss so that instead of like 20% difference where they will heal if you hit over that it's 33% so yeah there is a lot less chance of you screwing up and it looks good I, I probably would not mind uh, doing this boss from now on though just cause it's pretty easy now I don't really have to worry about them accidentally healing too much so this is such a super fast oh um, holy shit. Oh my god! Yes! Oh! -ho -ho! Oh my god! Yes! Oh man. It's been over a uh, a week since I've gotten an item. Woohoo! Come here, boy! Yes! Oh my god, dude. Yo, two thirds ancestral pieces! Okay, okay. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that dude. Damn, do I really want to bring that switch though to Om? Um, nah, I, I don't know yet, but yo, I'm just I'm just very glad uh, that I got Ancestral Hat, dude. Ah, oh, feels good to get items again at rates, yo. Man, I guess the luck still continues, dude. Ooh, that's beautiful. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I won't be using this for like when I do solo raids, just because having extra switches in a solo, the way I'm doing it is a little bit uh, hectic, so... If I do group raids, I'll definitely bring this uh, ancestral half of the extra 2% damage though. Gotta, gotta use that as much as I can. Price check the hat. Alright, let's see. Ooh, wow. Damn, ancestral hat 60 mil. What the hell, man? When I got this drop on my main account, it was 57 mil. I guess it's uh, more expensive now. And uh, this top has dropped quite a bit since I last got it. Like 60 mil drop. Still a lot of money though, but okay. Gotta make sure we do good here. Guard Sword Shard 3 again! Oh my god. That's like my fourth straight day of getting God Sword Shard 3s. What the heck? What are the chances, man, of just like continuously getting Guard Sword Shard 3s only? So I have come to the realization that 
I only have five items left to get from raids and I will name them for you so it is the twisted bow of course the elder maul the ancestral roll bottoms the dragon hunter crossbow and the twisted buckler yeah that's it only those five left I cannot believe it dude I seriously thought I had so much more to get but yeah just five so wow that that's just insane I've got a few placeholders but for the most part it's been amazing experience at raids so I definitely will be working towards some more unique items of course from raids anyways not so much for the god wars though tried keep getting god sword shard threes I, I don't understand like I think it was four shards right threes yeah crazy and as for corporal beast there's actually one final thing uh, left for it and that is to get myself you know a lot of the Quan blonds, okay? Lots of that. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but you know, I definitely want to get a few K. So regarding Corporal Beast, I definitely want to start uh, this week. So let's just say Saturday or Sunday this week at the most, okay? That's when I would like to start Corporal Beast. So let's hope that I can uh, do that. And uh, instead of the usual music outro, I actually want to share a pretty funny clip. So. I'll give you guys some background though, or else you guys probably uh, will understand what's going on. So basically, one of my good friends, you know, RL friends, um, he actually plays RuneScape, right? But see, he really only plays RuneScape for the sole purpose of looting people's dead bodies in World 318 Bounty Hunter World. And I gotta say, some of his like, lootations are just amazing. Like, hilariously amazing. I don't know, I get hyped, you know, when he loots some big stuff. And uh, like yesterday, man, he called me, man, told me that he got like the craziest loot. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as usual, man. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye bye. Yeah. This is the most craziest drop I ever got. Really? What do you get? I'm not kidding right now. Hey, what do you Yo. get? You ready for this shit? Yeah, tell me what you get. Alright, uh, I'll go from like bottom. I got like some angler fish, you know. Okay. And then combat bracelet. Combat bracelet? Okay. Th 30k GP. Uh huh. G Mall. Yep. Uh, Dragon Boots. Dragon Boots, okay. Uh, Darox Great Axe. Oh, Darox? Darox Play Leg. The full Darox? And the dark play body, dude. Oh shit, that's like two mil, bro. Two point two, dude. Oh damn, oh, you just got the fuck. How did they not pick that up, dude? There are so many. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's, what the hell, there's man? There's two full sets that drop. I somehow got all of one. You got one of them, but oh yeah, of yeah. course. How, you can just know you can get the other one. Oh my god. Damn, dude. what the fuck? How, that's so fun. <laughs> How are you gonna ever beat that? Dude, I don't know.